Welcome to another moment with Messiah uh, for Lent of 2024. And in these videos, it's my custom to celebrate things that have already occurred and to reflect ahead on upcoming events and upcoming things. There is uh, so much to celebrate in the life of this church. We just had our annual meeting. I'm so very grateful for um, those in ministry at Messiah, our staff, clergy, our vestry and wardens, and all who were able to attend um, our annual meeting. I encourage you to please pick up a copy of the annual report if you've yet to do so. And just get a, a sense or sort of a snapshot of this uh, growing and vibrant and healthy congregation. Well, looking ahead, we are, we are just turning the quarter towards the beginning of Lent, and I am here in the undercroft at Messiah. You can see it all set up for our Shrove Tuesday pancake supper, and if it's not too late, if you see this today, join us tonight here at the church for that. It's a, also a fundraiser for our summer youth ministry. Again, a reminder that if you've already given towards uh, or increased your pledge to our dream uh, pledge level, you don't need to give it a fundraiser other than to cover the cost uh, of a meal. Well, I do want to reflect a little bit about upcoming events, but also the sort of shift in our liturgy for uh, the Lenten season. So let's do that first, shall we? Let's think about what's coming um, in Lent liturgically. So as I reminded you in our news flyer, which you have received at your homes, is also available here um, at the church. You know, I have been very much so formed uh, by the Book of Common Prayer um, in the Episcopal Church, which is really uh, a, our great inheritance. It's a treasure whose riches can only be known through engaging them. The Book of Common Prayer can only be experienced by praying it. As an inheritors of this gift handed down to us by those who preceded us in the Episcopal Church, who are handing down the inheritance of the English Reformation, who are handing down the inheritance of the ancient and primitive church, we will pray the Book of Common Prayer in Lent uh, this year. You know, at our most recent diocesan convention, we heard a report about the possibility of prayer book revision, a new prayer book that could reflect or would reflect the changes in contemporary culture. Thankfully, there are voices of proposing keeping or memorializing our 1979 Book of Common Prayer as the prayer book with the addition of another book of some kind. Please know my desire is not to be contentious. I long for mutual flourishing in the church, but to celebrate our great inheritance. It would be more than ironic if we at Messiah desired to defend the 1979 prayer book without actually using it in worship. So our prayer book is an historic survey in a way, beginning with Rite 1, traditional language liturgies, and then moves to write to contemporary language. Language We will live into the history, this history on Sundays uh, in Lent, beginning this week. On Lent 1, we will pray write one morning prayer at both services. A spoken Holy Communion service will be offered at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. On Lent 2, we will pray the write one Holy Eucharist. And on Lent 3, we will move to write to Holy Communion using prayer A, then prayer B, and prayer C on successive Sundays of Lent. All are invited, as well, uh, to a Lenten choral evensong on Sunday, March 3rd at 4 p.m. Our prayer book survey will conclude on Easter Sunday with right to Holy Communion and prayer D. All prayed from the Book of Common Prayer. So we'll actually be using those red books in the pew racks and also uh, the hymnal as well. I will also offer a morning prayer on Mondays of Lent on our YouTube channel. We will do, we clergy will do our best to guide you as together we pray our great inheritance of faith. 
So that's what's coming liturgically here at Messiah during the season. I also want to say it's called the prayer book experiment for a reason. Uh, we're experimenting during this season, and there will be a feedback loop at the end um, where uh, we will hear feedback from those involved in our ministries, and if you're involved in the ministry, it'll come back through our vestry liaisons up to the vestry for conversation, and also members of our worship committee will also be involved in that feedback loop, providing feedback for me as rector of the parish. Perhaps we, we may want to keep some of, the, some of the experiment, we may not. But I want you to know that that's the nature of the experiment. I also want to highlight a few um, upcoming events and services in particular. Of course, tonight is Shrove Tuesday, and then tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, service here at the church at Messiah at 7 p.m. Reverend Deacon Judy will be um, our, our preacher. I mentioned what's happening on Lent 1 and also morning prayer on the Monday. But on Sunday night here at Messiah, the first Sunday of Lent, February the 18th, is the kickoff or introductory uh, night of our Alpha Course. And I just want to say a word about that, and in particular has, as it has to do with our Lenten practices. You know, Lent was originally designed for adults uh, who were ready to be confirmed at the Easter Vigil. They would spend the 40 days of Lent in preparation and catechesis and discipleship. They would go to worship in the church, then they'd have to depart uh, before Holy Communion, so at the peace, as it were, to go for further uh, instruction. And the church, in its wisdom, decided to keep Lent not just for those people who were called uh, catechu the catechumenate, but for the whole church. In a sense, Lent is really a refresher course in the Christian faith. And I can think of no better refresher and a great Lenten exercise than to go to the Alpha Course. And everyone's invited to the first night uh, on the Sunday night, this Sunday night, here at the church at 5.30 p.m., Please let the church know we, so we can plan uh, food for you. We don't ask you to commit to the whole course. Just come to the first night and just see uh, if you'd like to stick around for the remainder of the course. Other upcoming events uh, during, during our season together here um, at Messiah. I also want to mention that uh, our, our bishop will be visiting us on Sunday, March the 10th and he will be our preacher and celebrant and leader our adult forum um, that Sunday. So that is coming as well. Now I'll shoot another video when it gets closer to Holy Week um, as we begin to go walk through all of those services as well. But my prayer for us all is that we'll keep a Holy Lent. Now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you this day, this Shrove Tuesday, this Lenten season and always.